The Russian invading troops are exhausted and exhausted by constant meat assaults. The president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, is actively trying to find additional life force, but everything is not so simple. The Russian army is facing significant losses and a lack of human resources due to the long war against Ukraine. Newsweek editors draw attention to the fact that during the two-and-a-half-year war against Ukraine, the aggressor country of the Russian Federation lost more than 665,000 of its soldiers. What is important to understand is that more than a thousand Russian occupiers die or are injured every day. Despite this, official Moscow has never acknowledged its huge losses. Accurate data on casualties on the battlefield is difficult to verify. However, according to the British government, Russian losses are approaching 648,000. William Freer, a researcher at the British Center for Geostrategy, notes that both Russia and Ukraine face a shortage of human resources. According to him, after ammunition, the most important factor in war is the search for new manpower. It is also important to understand that it was in September 2024 that the aggressor country suffered the greatest losses during the entire war. The Russian president is forced to actively look for new ways to replenish his occupation army despite the fact that right now his reputation is on the verge. Putin hopes to make voluntary military service more attractive, while he does not reject unpopular options such as sending conscripts to Ukraine or announcing a new wave of mobilization. Russia uses several resources for military recruitment. These are regular conscripts, contract workers, reservists, as well as mercenaries, such as the fighters of the Wagner Group and foreigners who joined the war in exchange for high salaries and citizenship, Newsweek said. What is important to understand is that it is mobilization that is currently a controversial issue for Putin because a significant number of men of conscription age have left the country to avoid service. This did not prevent the Kremlin from introducing new rules allowing electronic subpoenas to be sent to Russians. However, the problem of lack of manpower is still relevant for the aggressor country. In response to the successes of the Russian military-industrial complex, the Ukrainian military has upgraded its drones, equipping them with thermite charges. These weapons are capable of releasing molten metal that burns at a temperature of 2,427 degrees Celsius, which is why the Ukrainian Armed Forces soldiers have dubbed them Dragon Drones. This was reported by the commander of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Strike Drone Company, Vyacheslav. They have moved to a more official level, and their supplies seem to have improved a lot, Vyacheslav said, as quoted by the New York Times. The new Ukrainian drones use thermite cartridges. Thermite, originally developed for welding railway tracks a century ago, is a mixture of aluminium and iron oxide. The mixture causes a self-sustaining reaction when ignited, making it virtually impossible to extinguish. The first use of these weapons became public back in early September. That's when video emerged showing one dispersing the molten mixture into trellises that concealed Russian troops and equipment. Additional videos soon popped up on social media showing more Ukrainian units using the weapon that way. Russia is also trying to use similar systems, but to what extent remains unclear. The combination of the searing heat of the thermite and the maneuverability and speed of a drone makes this a very lethal and versatile weapon. We are now seeing it applied elsewhere on the battlefield. At first, the drones were being deployed to burn away the areas where Russians sought cover and under the dense growth. Ukraine is also using these drones to attack armor. Using these fire-breathing drones on other target types does make sense as thermite may not be able to destroy some targets but can certainly damage them and take them out of the fight. Burning alive in a bunker filled with the horrific compound is also one heck of a psychological deterrent as well as being brutally effective. According to a popular telegram channel reported to be run by a former Russian military aviator, a Russian aerospace forces Sukhoi Su-34 fighter-bomber aircraft was shot down on Saturday over Ukraine. The fighter-bomber channel shared an apparent tribute to the downed Su-34 with a black and white photo of the multi-role aircraft and the caption, The Earth is the Sky, Brothers. Other pro-Moscow telegram channels have provided additional details, claiming the aircraft was shot down approximately 50 kilometers from the front lines, and that it was a US-made F-16 fighting Falcon that downed the Russian fighter-bomber. The F-16 has been a critical part of NATO's support to Ukraine, 
providing air defense capabilities against Russian drone and missile strikes. If confirmed, this would highlight the fighter's effectiveness against Russian aircraft, fulfilling its design mission of countering Soviet era planes. The Russian Ministry of Defense has made no official statement about the alleged loss of the Su-34 on Saturday, nor has Ukraine's Ministry of Defense commented. Earlier this year, NATO members Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Norway pledged to provide at least 90 of the aircraft after the White House signed off on the transfer of the US-made F-16s. The first fighting Falcons from Denmark arrived in early August. That same month, the F-16s were used to counter Russian drone and missile strikes on civilian population centers and critical infrastructure. While the aircraft have largely operated far from the front lines, a fighting Falcon was lost in late August, likely due to pilot error. The F-16, which originated under the lightweight fighter program for the United States Air Force, has been produced in 138 different configurations from the prototype to its latest production models. Successive changes have seen the addition of improved cockpit technologies, enhanced avionics, sensors, and weapons, while great effort has been made to ensure the fighter is more reliable and easier to maintain and control. The latest F-16s have an increased range and payload, advanced infrared sensors, and laser targeting devices, while it has improved survivability thanks to more advanced electronic warfare sensors and sophisticated decoys. It should also be noted that the F-16 was designed to counter Soviet aircraft, and if Saturday's incident is proven to be true it has lived up to the task.